Genetics is the study of heredity and the variation of inherited characteristics. Traits such as hair color, blood type, and height can be passed down from parents to their offspring, resulting in progeny that have these characteristics. Over the past 150 years, many genetic experiments have taken place. One of the more recent experiments involved P. maniculatus and P. polionotus, two varieties of mice, to see the genetic basis as well as the fitness consequences of sperm midpiece length in male mice of these two species. Sperm midpiece is the part of the sperm which helps propel the sperm to fertilize the egg. Experimenters aim to see how the PKA R1 gene is responsible for sperm midpiece length and how this midpiece length affects how many offspring the mice have. The FT generation of mice whose sperm was to be studied was bred specifically for this experiment. This was done by breeding two polionotus males and two maniculatus females, producing the first generation of progeny. The males and females of the F1 generation were allowed to mate, and the resulting F2 generation contained genetic material from both species of mice. The mice of F2 were allowed to mate again, but the sperm of F2 males was used for analysis. After being allowed to reproduce again, the males of the F2 generation were killed and the tissue from the epididymis of the deceased male was removed. This tissue was then incubated and mixed with Biggers Wooden Winningham medium in order to extract motile sperm from the tissue and create a solution containing live sperm. From this solution, a sample was obtained and observed under the microscope. Experimenters took five second interval video recordings of the motile sperm moving around the solution. A genetic cross between the two mice species from the first generation was used to produce hybrid offspring. They analyzed the sperm of 300 F2 mice, finding that mice with at least one P. maniculatus prkr one a allele had a significantly longer sperm midpiece than those who were homozygous for the P. polionotus allele. After collecting data of average midpiece lengths among each genotype and calculating standard error, researchers compared the average midpiece lengths of the F2 hybrids to those mice from the original laboratory colony using a bar graph. On the x-axis are the genotypes of the F2 offspring. Big A, big A denotes male homozygous for P. maniculatus allele. Big A, little a represents heterozygous males. And little a, little a denotes male homozygous for the P. polionotus allele. On the y-axis is the length of the midpiece. The black bar represents the average length of P. maniculatus midpiece in the original lab colony of mice. And the white bar represents the average midpiece length among P. polionotus from the original colony. There is no significant statistical difference in midpiece length between males big A, big A, and big A, little a. From the video recordings taken, a computer program was utilized to analyze each frame of the recordings and calculate the mean straight line velocity or VSL value for the sperm. The length of each of these observed sperm midpiece lengths were recorded as well as the species of the mouse. All this data was plotted against VSL to reveal a positive correlation. To analyze the reproductive success of the F2 males, the 300 of them that were allowed to reproduce again were separated into those that produced offspring and those that did not. The midpiece length of the sperm of these F2 males were measured after the they were killed and the mean length was plotted for the two groups of mice to compare midpiece length to reproductive success. Research has found that P. maniculatus has a longer midpiece than P. polionotus. The gene that is responsible for influencing midpiece length is the PRKR1A gene. It's responsible for 33% of the variation in midpiece length. Having at least one ver dominant version of this allele contributes to longer midpiece and higher sperm motility. Longer sperm midpiece allows for better swimming performance and better reproduction rate as the possibility and probability of fertilization increases. As this trait is passed down to more viable fertile offspring, P. maniculatus increases its fitness. The biological principles across different areas can be seen in this research. Having this gene expressed through transcription and translation has allowed genetic inheritance. The dominant P allele of P. maniculatus is passed down to offspring from mitosis as well as meiosis. It is this genetic variation that has allowed evolution in mice and has led to divergent mating systems between the two species.